Okay, hello and welcome back to um, my YouTube channel. Um, today I will be discussing file managers. Um, this week on uh, Big Daddy Linux, we didn't decide on um, a distro of choice, a distro challenge of choice. Um, instead, we decided on file managers. Um, what's your favorite file manager and why? And um, the debate got pretty heated between Nemo and Dolphin. You know. Um, I have my opinions on both of those, and like I think they're both great. Um, I would tend to prefer, like, if those are my only two choices, I would probably go Nemo over Dolphin, just because I find it to be less, less um, quirky, less buggy. Um, as I usually do with GTK apps in comparison to, um, not so much Qt apps, but Plasma apps in general. I find them to be kind of like they're very functional, but they could be kind of quirky and like random things. Just like I haven't had good luck with them. Um, but as you could tell, those, those two we can discuss those later. Um, I will try to make it to to, to Big Daddy Linux tonight, um, uh, Saturday, April thirteenth. Um, today I'll be discussing my personal file managers and why I use them. Um, uh, my, the file managers I use are Ranger and PC Man FM. And let me just get myself out of the way here. Um, we were supposed to f come up with um, five reasons why our file manager is the best. Um, I can't think of five particular reasons why I would use these two. Um, the one reason that I use PC Man FM is because I am still actually learning how to use Ranger. And so PC Man FM is my usual fallback file manager. If I can't figure out how to do something on Ranger, I'll default back to PC Man FM to get it done. Um, and then do some research as to how to get it done in Ranger for the next time. Um, as with everything, it is a learning curve and you know, I don't consider myself to be a power user or a coder or anything like that. Um, PC Man FM though is the default file manager that comes with um, LX um, DE, the LX DE desktop environment. Very lightweight, very simplistic, very stable. Gets and it, it does what I need it to do. Um, however. Since I've been getting into um, i3 and like the, the more minimalist um, you know lifestyle, if you will, um, maybe it's just because I'm getting older or whatnot. But I'm just starting to like you know simpler things, you know simpler um, simple things for simplicity's sake. Um, I like to be able to get things done here and move on to like real life outside of my my computer. So I like to keep things simple and stable here. That doesn't mean that I won't try other things. Or like if um if I have to if I log into KDE for some reason or GNOME or Cinnamon, I will use their respective file managers while I'm on that desktop environment. Um, just because I I'm, I'm logging into that desktop environment to get the experience from that desktop environment. Um, as you know I run um, Arch Linux. I have multiple desktop environments on here so I can keep up with them because um, I mean we have to even though we're, we're getting into it we have to keep up with what the new user will be running into what they will be doing so I mean I do try to keep up with that stuff um, that being said we'll get into it um, as you could probably guess um, Ranger is a console uh, terminal based file manager and it is available in most repositories. Um, if you're running a Debian-based distro, so like um, Ubuntu or um, uh, Mint or whatever, um, it is, I think it's available in your in your main repos. You should be able to apt install Ranger. Um, if you're on an Arch-based distro like Manjaro, it would be Pacman S um, Ranger. Um, I would recommend running Pac-Man SI 
Scott Ranger first. And what that'll do is it'll show you the inform and, and like run your apt um equivalent to this to see um what it has for optional dependencies down here. Because some of these will come in handy for you. Um, they help you to open certain things. Um, and it just ma makes Ranger a little more functional, in my opinion. Um, it is a console-based app. And to run it, you just have to run Ranger in, as a command. And it'll open it up for you here. It opens me up right into my home folder here. Um, as you can tell, I have multiple directories, and you could navigate it through the arrow keys, bring up and down, and left and right will take you to um, your um, parent. Oh, so like, let's say I'm in my home folder, and I want to go back into the parent directory. I just hit left arrow, and it takes me back. See how I'm on the, the next, um, and then it could take you all the way back up to root. Doesn't necessarily mean you have permissions here, but you can get up to it. If you were in running as root, you would have full permissions up there. Um, so, um, what are some of the neat things you could do with this? Um, well, in Ranger, I think they're Vim shortcuts. A lot of them seem similar to, to, to the Vim text editor. Um, one of the things I like is I'm still learning how to do the keyboard shortcuts, but there are plenty of commands you can issue right to it and you can issue even shell commands right from here. Um, I can go with shift or colon and let's say I have to see hidden folders, right? So I just hit set show hidden true and now all of a sudden my hidden folders are available to me. And Let's say I have to copy something. Let's say I have to copy something over. Um, let's pick something simple. And I'm just going to randomly copy something over to the, the desktop. Um, and I'll even make it a, a directory. Um, to copy a folder or file, you just have to make sure that you're highlighted over the folder or directory or the, the directory or the file and um, as you can tell this is my active pane which is in the middle um, on the pane to the right over here it does show you what's in that directory if you're hovering over a file it'll show you what's in that file or if it's a um, media file like a video or a, or a a song or something, it'll give you the, the, the media information for that um, file. Um, but anyway, to copy a directory, you say Y for yank, and then Y again to copy it. And now, let's say I want to paste it to my desktop. Well, let's keep going down to find my desktop. And by the way, to enter into a directory, you hit the um, right arrow. When you're on the directory you want to go in, you hit the right arrow. And then now I'm on my desktop. So now, in order to paste it, I just hit P and then paste. And now my i3 folder is here on my desktop too. Um, um, let's say I, I don't know where something is, but I know it's in this directory or I'm in a big directory and I need to find something quick. Well, you can hit the forward slash and it'll run search. So let's say I need to find my random folder, which my random folder is my new desktop folder since I stopped using the desktop for file storage. Okay, so it was giving me problems because of that one space. See, I'm still learning it. Um, yeah, um, my random folder is where I put most of my... Where I put my stuff that I used to put on my desktop, but you know, I think it doesn't have that functionality. You can home got rid of it a while back. Um, and I can see why it's kind of a mess. So let's say that 
I want to get some info on something. Well, let's say for example, I try to open a photo. Well, it does have image preview. See how it's showing the actual image in the right pane of oh, little Beerus, the Lord Beerus, a destroyer, having his fun. Um, if you go into music, let's say I go down here to one of my one of my music files. If you notice on the right pane, it's giving me the data info info of that particular file. And you can set it to do the same thing with images. Instead of showing a preview, but I like to have a preview for that. Um, matter of fact, I can go into my OBS folder, where I store all my OBS videos, and see how it's giving me all the information there. Um, and yes, you can run a shell command. Or certain shell commands. Um, some of them might not show up right away. But, um, like I said, I'm still learning. I know that the icon set here, I set here, is kind of, it's kind of wonky. But it wasn't what it was previewing. So like, I think there's something going wrong there, but um, the reason I use Rangers is for functionality and simplicity. I mean, as you can tell, it does pretty much everything I needed to do. Matter of fact, if I want to open up a new tab, I could do that. I could hit Control New, Control N, and now open. Now I can have many as I want. And Q to quit out of them. Um, to switch between them, I just hit can control tab. Um, that can come in handy when you're copying or pasting stuff. Um, what I like about this is it does what I needed to do and is simple and it's, it, it's like I'm still learning it. Um, and like I don't know if it's my old age or whatever but or like I'm, get, I'm getting old. I'm gonna be 30 this year. I'm not, I guess I'm not that old but I'm, I'm like I've noticed that the older I get, the more, um, like the, the bigger the desire I have for like keep it simple, stupid. Um, like I want things to be just just just, just work for me. And um, for me, Arch i3 with um, Ranger, that's doing that for me. And it might not be for everybody. Um, But, um, yeah, those are my thoughts in a nutshell of, um, like, why I use Ranger. It's not, there's nothing really special about it that, like, any other file manager won't do. Or may even do a little bit better, a little easier. But, I like the simplicity of it. I like that it... I like the workflow of it. There's just something about it, and like, it's not the first time that's happened to me where I try to learn something and then uh, come to find out that I really like enjoy the workflow of it. Like, I thought the i3 was gonna be a pain in the butt when I first started trying to learn. I was like, this is how about I, I want to learn how to do a window manager. I wanted to learn how to do one, and once I started getting into it, the keyboard shortcuts started feeling more natural to me. They started feeling quicker to me, and before I knew it, I was running it as my as my base desktop environment, as my daily driver. <clears throat> Excuse me. The same thing happened with Ranger for me. It's like I started using it as like a little side project. It's like, okay, I'm just gonna start using it, and like I realized how simple it was, how powerful it really was, and like I'm still learning how to how to use it. But like I just enjoy the workflow, and I find myself using it more often than I do GUI file managers. And like, but I mean that that's just that's just my take on it. Um, but yeah, that's my that's my um 
That's my take on file managers. Why I use the ones that I choose to use. Um, they're just they're just opinions. They're they're, they're just thoughts and opinions, and I'm sure that the uh, that the debate tonight will get a little heated. Everyone has their own file managers of choice. Um, but yeah, um, if you like this content, if you like what I do, um, please like and subscribe. Um, and let me know. I, I can't promise regular content. That's the thing. That's why I'm not asking for money. I'm not asking for anything. So I can't. I can't promise that I will deliver. But I will try to continue. Um, and I will catch you next time. Thank you. Have a great day.